103.8. Jojo Moyes, lovely to be in your company. Thank you very much. Uh, congrats on the, the, the film. Is it, is it still a bit surreal that seeing your characters come to life in front of that your eyes? That is completely the word. I mean, I feel like the whole last three months have been completely surreal. I mean, everything from attending your own premiere is just mm -hmm. uh, that's surreal. To see the thing, you know, sitting in a hotel room and having a bowl of soup and suddenly your name appears on your TV screen is just, that's you know, brilliant. I think I made a yelping sound when I first saw that. It, just everything is surreal. I mean, wonderful surreal, though. Don't get me wrong. Take <laughs> us back to when the film was being made because there is a lovely moment I heard on set where you got very emotional watching oh. Oh my God. I know you're probably going, how dare you bring this up? But like, but, but the thing is, because you know, these characters have you know, fermented away in your mm -hmm. head, you know what I mean? And it's a painstaking process to mm -hmm. write a book. So, and then the whole idea of the film being optioned, like, that could take yeah. a long old time. So then, as I said, to get back to like, really seeing it all play out in front of you, it must have really tugged at the heartstrings. It really did. And I think you know, it's testament to the actors that even though I'd written the screenplay and I knew exactly what was coming, there was this one day in particular where we were filming a key scene and it was a very close set. I was just in a, in a monitor, you know, behind a monitor in a little tent. And Thea kept pulling them down and down. She gently eased them into a deeper and deeper performance. Well, I cried at every take. And by the end of it, I was crying so hard that uh, one of the production people came and took a picture of me oh, okay. and put it in the kind of weekly newsletter. And they, it became a kind of litmus test. If the actors could make me cry, they knew that they were on the right uh, track. But yeah, it was amazing because, mm. you know, you think you know what your own story is about, but every mm. now and then you have the actors come and they bring a whole different dimension to it. They add layers, they, mm. they, they spark off a different voice. And that for me was the magic of being part of the movie making process. As that your story gets out there in, in book form, mm -hmm. And it, it suddenly becomes someone else's baby yeah. then. Is there anything that you learn differently about your story and about the message in it? Um, not really, because I think, uh, you know, MGM and Thea basically wanted me to have joint custody. So mm -hmm. I felt like we were very much always on the same page. You know, mm -hmm. Thea and I sat together for months before we even made it to filming, just honing the script, going over and over what we felt were the key things. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, there is no difference. I mean, I'm loath to say there's a message because I feel like that's mm. kind of, um, if anything, we're sort of saying, we're, we're posing a question rather than giving an answer, which mm. is what would you do? That's yes. the question. And I think if anything, we were just really careful in both. I was very careful in the book and we were very careful in the movie just not to say that one thing is right, one thing is wrong. It's just, mm. we're taking an extreme human situation and saying, how do you respond to something which is extraordinary like this? And well, I don't know the answer. Yeah, and it is a big question yeah. that's put forward. And it's an issue that I think as a society we are facing increasingly more common um, because, you know, medical science is keeping people alive and I feel like as a society we're, we're running slightly behind that in terms of what we can offer people you know, who might not have stayed alive 20 years ago. Absolutely. In terms of the actors now, mm -hmm. when Amelia and Sam are put forward as the cast, yeah. were they, did you feel like, oh, they, 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 they're in, I didn't maybe see them necessarily for the roles. Or how did you feel yeah, when yeah. they were first kind of put Well, together? you know, Thea saw over 300 women for the part of Louisa, because I think we all felt that that was going to be the trickiest part to cast mm -hmm. because she's, She's a very particular mix of kind of guilelessness and integrity and humour and quirkiness. She's, she's a lot of stuff rolled into one. And also warmth because... Warmth being the absolute key I think key so because thing. you can get certain actresses and I don't know if that's something that you can teach somebody. I think, you know, to have that warmth that just radiates. I think you're right because yeah. actually, you know, they said to me, oh, we're going to be auditioning the woman who plays Khaleesi and I'm like... I get that, you know, <laughs> she's got blonde hair, she's always killing people, oh, mm -hmm. she's very serious. And then Amelia walks in and have you, you've met her. Oh, she's lovely. I've met okay. her twice now. Well, so you know, I mean, mm -hmm. warmth is the word. She yes. comes in, she just radiates warmth. She's sunny. She's got this funny sense of humour. She's a little bit quirky. Yes. She just follows her own path. And straight away, I was just like, ah, stop the search. For me, she, it was like she stepped out of my head. And then when we saw her and Sam on screen together, you know, we do these things, chemistry reads, to see how the top sort of six of the actors and actresses played against each other. Well, I mean, they scorched the screen up because you just got, I mean, I was actually in a cafe in Paris when Thea sent me the, the audition tape for that one. I was sitting there, I was like, okay, here's another one, drinking my coffee. 20 minutes later, I'm a sobbing wreck, you know, in the <laughs> mid morning, just like, you have to get these people, they're so yeah. good, they're so good. And you know what they've done, you're very proud. They I'm glad really you think have. so, because we thought so. Oh. <laughs> 
Jojo Moy, it's lovely being your company. It was such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. Thank you. Spin 1038.